Happy Sunday. Our resistance or my resistance to just being I can only speak to me, speak to my experience. I can have compassion for those around me and, 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 and see other people struggling, but I don't, I don't know their pain. I know my pain. But the resistance that I've had to just being, to be still, to be me, to walk in my shoes. And I can project at times myself into others' shoes and, and, and then have compassion for the path that they've, they've been on. Which is important for me to realize it's not all about me. But the, the way that I've been able to uh, get out of self and not be so selfish and think that it's all about me is, is to sit in me, to be. To find the patience and the courage to sit. And it's painful at times. It seems boring, and then sometimes it feels euphoric, and then it feels serene, and then it feels boring again. And then, and then I get anxious and I start thinking and just to sit. That's the most, that, that has been some of the most challenging times in my life is to just sit in me. I've done a couple of like extensive long meditation silent retreats, amazingly difficult. And I'm kind of craving to get back there because it forces, it forces everything to come to the surface in a fantastic way, um, but not, yeah, I guess it does force everything to come to the surface and, and not in a, an intoxicant way. Whereas, you know, if you take acid or um, mushrooms or something, it's um, that forces it to this, it forces those things to the surface. When you sit in silence, it's any guess what's going to come up. Um, the chatter, the beauty, um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I didn't think I was going to talk about this today. But to be able to sit in me has allowed me the resistance, the, like that resistance to want to discover who I am. And uh, the, the understanding that being me or being you, like how do I escape that on a daily basis? How do I crave to escape that? I don't want to be in me, so I take, you know, I may drink or I may um, shop, I may gamble, I may do any, a, a number of things because I, I'm afraid to see me, to discover who I am, or I have been. Less, resistance to, less resistant to that today because that's really all that matters. In the, in the purest moments that I have in my life, I realize that it doesn't matter what you think or what they think or what he thinks or she thinks or what they want me to earn. It's just my deal for me and it's your deal for you. And all the stuff that society kind of gives us to think about is bullshit. It's the moments that I have with another individual, the people that are in my community and my family and my friends. It's like those moments that mean something. Or even a stranger, the moment I have with another human being, that interaction, that is, that is the God between us. I don't know. Much love.